behavior among my handmaidens. One of you must answer for this. <laughs> Did you think any of them could keep a secret? What were you thinking? <laughs> my lady, please. Yes, you escort her in, but you had nothing to do with the altercation. Please, Lady Marjorie, please don't send me back to Highgard. Finally, you grace us with your presence. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. Sorry if I kept you waiting. I came as quickly as I could, my lady. I'll get to you in a moment. Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen I Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. From Cersei, no less. As if I haven't got enough to worry about. No, my lady. It doesn't sound like something Sarah would do. Is that so? I had no idea. Really? Half the servants in the keep are talking about it, but somehow you're in the dark? <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so flustered. It's just, I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. Tommen's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. I expected better of you. I had urgent business there, my lady. People were counting on me. Otherwise, I would never have disobeyed you. <sighs> I'm sure you had your reasons, Mira. You always do. At least you're honest about it. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please! You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. Sarah says you used her to get you into the party. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Please, Mira. I don't deserve to lose my position for this. I'm begging you to tell her the truth. My lady, I... I'm sorry. Sarah's telling the truth. This has been building for some time, Mira, but it still breaks my heart. I've been nothing but good to you. I've put up with your schemes. I've even tried to help you and your family where I could. And you repay me with this. I feel betrayed. I won't have it. Oh, forgive me, Lady Marjorie. I promise you it won't happen again. You're right, it won't. I can no longer have you near me, Mira. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. But, but, but my lady... I said get out. Mira, wait! I'm so sorry. She was so angry. I, I didn't know what else to do. You saved me from being sent home. I can't believe you did that for me. I expected I'd be on my way to High Garden by now. But you stood up for me. You're my friend, Sarah. I look after the people I care about. Thank you, Mira. I really mean it. I know you didn't have to. I wish things had turned out differently. But I suppose 
This is goodbye. I'm not sure when. I'm not sure we'll see each other again. You need to learn to be a better liar if you want to survive. King's Landing is no place for the good-hearted, Sarah. That may be you, but it's not me. Then you should think about getting out as soon as you can. There's something I need to tell you. Something I heard. There are some vile rumors going on about you. Rumors? About you murdering a Lannister guard. I thought you should know. Thanks, Sarah. Careful, Mira. You're on your own now. They're right behind us. Less than half a league. Seems you were right. I know that Snotnose bastard Griff. He was sent to kill me. Not Roderick. He wouldn't run home to his father without trying again. Listen close. I want the road surrounded. Ride hard for Ironrath. Don't turn back. If this goes to hell, they'll need to know about Roderick. Yeah! Lay low and be ready to strike the moment I give the order. And what order is that, Asha? Just follow my lead. Seven hells! Take them! Kill the Forestars! No grip! Oh, he's a bloody coward. Yeah, your brother was the coward. You should have seen him squeal. And when Griff gutted him like a pig! <laughs> My lord! We're going to kill them all for this. Roderick. I wish I had known him, Asher. I'll never get to drink with him, fight by his side, complain about what an ass his little brother is. I wish there was something more I could say. Roderick was everything that I'm not. He was shrewd where I'm reckless. He was just. Roderick, he kept this house together through, through sheer force of will. My brother was a true lord. They'll sing songs about him someday. But you're the lord here now, like it or not, by the laws of your land. And to these men, you've more than proven yourself. I'll do what I have to. Till every last White Hill is dead. After that, We'll see. Fair enough. My lord, forgive me, but Lud Whitehill will be on the move. Let's move!
Natasha. This happen. It makes no sense. He died a hero. Gregor was a hero. Ethan was a hero. Now Roderick? It means nothing to me. It was his sacrifice that enabled us to escape. The last time I saw him, I stormed out of the room. Talia, Mother, listen to me. We don't dare take time to mourn. Not yet. Lord is sure to move quickly now. He could be at our gates before nightfall. But there's hope yet! I've brought help! Warriors from across the narrow sea! With no equal in Westeros! Whatever their skill, they are hardly an army. My lady, I've seen them in battle, twice now, and I've seen Asher lead them. They're a force to be reckoned with, and they'll be more than equal to whatever Lud can muster. How can you say that? We've already lost. What are you talking about? Ramsay Snow. He came here. He set terms of war. He said the last house standing wins. And with the Lord of House Forrester dead, Lady Elena's not wrong. By Ramsay's term, this war's lost the moment the Boltons learn of this. Roderick may be dead, but the Lord of House Forrester stands before you. I will lead us in battle. This war is not over until I say it is. Asher will lead us. Asher is our Lord. Asher, I wish this were a happier occasion, but... This sword has been held by a Forrester Lord for centuries. Now, it is yours. All hail Asher Forrester! Lord of Ironrath, defender of the Ironwood Groves. My father never trained me to be a lord. This was supposed to be Roderick's sword, but I was trained to fight. And by the gods, I will defend my father's house to the last breath. House Forrester will prevail this day! Ah!